hello and welcome back to library trust youtube channel if you are a new subscriber you're welcome to the family if you are an old subscriber we are welcome back today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful burnt leaf granolin fascinator it's very easy to make you can see how beautiful the outcome came so if you want to learn this stay glued to this channel so kindly subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't and click on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we upload the new video back to our youtube channel so today we'll be learning how to make a bond leaf crinoline okay so to make this you don't need too much materials you just need a crinoline the color you're working with for this project i'm working is black and gold three inches crinoline okay you need your trimmings for decoration also i have this ball tree here i'll also be using this to decorate my fascinator you need a fascinator base just like this it's a ready-made fascinator base you need an elastic i'll be making do with this elastic i actually get a regular edmund elastic i'm working from home so and i can't find my elastic so that's why i'm just using this you need your needle and thread for sewing and you will need your glue your can do gum or you can use uhu gum so let's just get right into the tutorial so the first thing i'm going to do now i'll measure my crinoline for this project i'm using seven inches each so i'm going to measure seven inches each okay seven seven inches and i'll cut it okay so once i cut my seven inches just watch carefully I'm going to take them together like this. Once they're together, I'll take my thread and then I'll tie it just like this on one edge. Once I tie, once I roll it around it a couple of times, I'm going to tie it together to hold it firmly for me. Okay. Once it, I can tie like two or three times just for you to secure it. Okay, once I have it here like this, I'm going to cut it off with my scissors. So I've tied one end of this crinoline and I'm going to go to the other hand also and take it together and then tie it. What I'm trying to form is like a leaf shape. Okay, so once you tie it on both hands, it's going to give you that shape that you need for your crinoline. Okay. So I'm going to tie this also like two times just to secure it. So once I tie it like this, I'm going to cut off my rope. And then remember, this is a crinoline, so the edges is always sharp. So you just take this with your lighter and then you burn the edges just like I burned the edges for this one. So you can see that this can no longer injure anybody i burnt the edges so we'll do the same thing to this and burn the edges so i cut same measurement for the gold also i cut five for the gold like this five of it so i cut five for the gold and i cut 15 for the black okay so the black i wanted to have two layers but for the gold i'm just forming one layer of black flower like this okay so that's why i have five for my gold so now to sew it i'm just going to take my crinoline together like this forming the petal that i want so this is three i'm going to take my needle and thread and then pass it from the down part like this remember it's a crinoline and it has holes so you should tie a knot a big knot so that your knot cannot pass through your crinoline holes and then once you have your top knot just pass it a couple of times just to secure it when you are sure that you have them together take one more crinoline leaf okay and then sew it like this we are trying to form a petal of five so you should be careful how you are arranging your crinoline okay so I'll take this and sew it together now. Once I have it secured, I'm going to take the fifth leaf and then also sew it together to form my five petal. So when you are done sewing, you can actually rearrange it if you don't like what it's giving you. Okay, you can rearrange. 
so I'm going to fold this together just like this very simple to make and it doesn't take time it doesn't take so much time you just need to be patient with it okay so I'm just making sure that my petals are beautifully formed and then I'll pass it a couple of times before I tie it okay So, and you should also always work with a matching thread like this is a yellow thread i'm supposed to work with exactly the shade the gold shade of this thread because i'm working from home i'm doing this because this is a tutorial okay you should always look for a thread that matches your your quinoline perfectly and when you're burning it you can see that i can barely see the color of this one so you don't burn it too much so that it doesn't turn black like this because all these matters for the presentation of your crinoline so i have these petals like this i'm going to go over now and do the same the same way i saw this petal for the good i'll do the same for the black also and then i'll bring it back to show okay so i've done my flowers already you can see this is the last one. so i remember i cut 15 for black so i made this eight and I made this seven. That's because that is what I want, okay? So I cut five of these, five of gold. So I made this five into a petal. I cut 15 of black. So I made one eight and I made one seven. So I'm done with this now. So what I just need to do now is the placement. It depends on how you want to place it. You can place it maybe gold, then black. Black under is gold. Then you can pick another gold on top of it if that is what is you want this is one arrangement this is another arrangement you can place the remember the eighth one will be more because it has more leaves okay you can place it on the black like this and then place the gold like the mother fascinator behind everything like this so that we can use gold trimming in between so i think i like this so i'm just going to sew them together to hold them still using my needle and thread i'm sewing two first once i'm done with sewing these two i'll take the third one and also sew to them okay you can see this is very simple to make you can actually use a longer needle so that it will be easier for you to pass them Okay. and make sure as you are sewing make sure that your petals are not destroyed okay so you should be checking make sure that they are not destroyed they are still arranged the way you want them to be arranged so now i'm taking the third one together with it and then i'm going to sew it together like this looking at the arrangement you place it anyhow you want okay I think this arrangement is fine for me so i'm going to be going with it so i'll just hold this with my hand and then pass my needle through it to hold the three of them together so once they are held together i'll just tie a knot and then i'm going to cut it off so just pass it around this is basically what I'm doing. Pass it around each other just to hold it. Okay, so now I have sewn everything together and I have my petal together like this. Okay, so this is what my petal looks like now. So I brought in this mannequin so that I can know the exact placement that I want. So I'm just going to place my fascinator head. You place it anyhow you want it. This is how I want my fascinator to stand. Okay. So once this is okay for me, I'm just going to place this here to see how it's going to look like before I sew them together. So you have opportunity of checking your placement right now to actually get 
the point that you want okay so once you have a point that you think suits you i'm going to you can either mark it or just hold it together like that i still have my thread and then i'm going to sew it okay i love to sew because it's safer all this sewing that we are doing you can actually do this with 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 glue also but you know that it is always always very important to be very sure so once you're sewing it you will know that even if the person wash it it will still stay for them you're not going to be having any problem with that so i'm going to be passing my thread around for it to stay together with the mannequin like this so you continue passing it around like that so you are sure that everywhere outside is neat there is no rough edges showing on the outside so once you're sure and you're okay with what you have you just need to tie it okay so i'm going to tie this now i think i'm okay with what i have be sure that you're not taking your fascinator with it So I'm going to tie this now. I'm okay and I can see that it's secured because I'm no longer holding it with my hand and it's still staying in place. So I'm just going to tie this and cut this off. Okay, so we are almost done with our fat. So I'm okay with what I have here now. We can see standing on its own and I have checked that it is neat. So you can actually place it here again to check what you have and I like the placements that I have. So I'm just going to cut off my thread now after tying it. So the next thing I did now is to cut my elastic. So I cut a 12 inch elastic because I don't want it to be too tight. Okay, so this is 12 inches and then what I did is just to sew it with, with my needle and thread. I'll be sewing it to my fasten it off like this okay so i've sewn this side i take it over and you have to be sewing it very closely your sewing must not show it has to be very very as neat as possible okay so i've sewn it to the other side now i just need to sew it and be sure that i have a very firm elastic okay and as neatly as possible so once I'm through with my sewing, I'm just going to tie it together and then cut it off. So I'm tying it and then I cut off the thread. So once I cut the thread off, we want to check that your elastic is firm. So once it's firm like that, you can place it on your mannequin to check what you have okay so it is looking like this and i am okay with it it's a bit slippery okay so this is what i have and i'm fine with what i have so i cannot leave these rough edges so now depends on what you want to have want to what to use i have gold and black roses so i'm just going to use that using my glue to okay i think i should use gold so I'm going to place two gold roses here okay and remember that I also have a tree ball here yeah, so I can actually place that anyhow I want also so I can cut this off and then place it somewhere here just for it to be showing a little bit there so it depends on what I want so I'm just going to embellish this now and then bring it back to show us so I'm using my uyu, uyu gum to attach my rose. Okay, I actually prefer to use the candle gum, but there's no light here actually, but and it's because it's faster. So I'm just using this, but it has to be very careful in order for it not to stain your work. Okay, so I just apply. A little bit of my glue and then I'm going to place it there so I have two roses there 
covering the rough edges okay so you can see how beautiful our fascinator is looking and you can see that it is so so easy to make so kindly give this a thumbs up like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video and give us your feedback okay so this also i'll just look for somewhere here i can place it here too i'll just place it somewhere just to give you some form of decor okay so i finally embellished this i just removed one of the stock of the of the tree and then i used my glue gun to my glue to glue it together and i placed the balls here also you can see how beautiful this is looking so on the other side you can leave it like this the sewing but if you don't want the sewing to be showing you can just cut a black fabric and using your glue you can place it here i made this for myself actually so i don't mind this because i use the matching thread actually okay so we are true with our fabric.